So in this video, Seiyu is reacting to Kodaka's uh, okay, announcement message whenever, you know, she left Niji Sanji. And I thought, you know, this was going to be something interesting to check out because me and Seiyu, we don't have like a deep personal relationship, but we've, you know, chatted before. So I personally um, feel a little invested into hearing what she has to say about this. And apparently it involves Finana and DMs as well. So let's check it out. Honestly, uh, what's said in the announcement is pretty simple and clear, I feel like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no, that sounds like something someone who... Okay, I'll be nice and say that that's something that... English is not her native language. So, and I'm not saying that her English sucks or anything like that. I'm just saying maybe she thought these things just actually happened. If you believe what those things are of face value, if somebody says this person was lying about getting a sponsorship, you know, that's what one of the things that were on the, on the thing, then, then fine. I guess I just don't get that because I, I don't understand believing a company over your friend. There are people... The difference is, is that company is her boss, for one. For two, it's her lifeline. So it's in her best interest to just agree with the company. And for three, maybe y'all really weren't as close friends as you think you were out there who do that i just think it's i think it's sad that's all i don't think it's a good thing to do unless you really consider that person to just be worthless to you the thing that makes me mad about this whether she actually thought this or not what happened on the termination was actually true or not and again she's not used to having this kind of power because influencers have a lot of power in what we say we have to be very careful about what we say what she said here makes it she is giving Kodaka a huge benefit of the doubt. It sounds like Zion is a more horrible person and that everything is true. Whether or not she realizes that or not, and because she was in a position that she would know, right? Because she they were they were genmates. Have I spoken to her since that? No. Because I have no reason to. Because I actually expressed that I still thought that we could talk things out and be friends. But I know that she does not want that. Like, I've been backstabbed by a lot of That's people. That's how it is. I actually had a huge PTSD of females for a very long time because of That's what some real I shit. used to really dislike other females because I was very scared of them. And I knew that they would be very dishonest with me. It happened again. Females can be evil, you know, bro. Why couldn't you just talk? And this happened twice with another girl there, obviously, who Vindictive. was one of Zion's, someone that Zion thought she was very close to as well. And she also got... My question is, why is she talking about herself in third person, bro? It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. <laughs> like, it's meta, it's weird, and it's crazy. But I just want to know why. Like, is it for jokes? Is it legal reasons? I don't know. But it is weird, bro. <laughs> That's like if I came on here and I'm like, yeah, man, Kunshan said he got this cool video to check out about Seiyu. Kun Sean uh, is going to check out this video now. Like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Talked, which was even worse. They talked privately and cleared up everything and explained things. You see what I'm saying? She basically told the story that got told before they talked. It was her thoughts on what happened before they even talked things through. And that's why I am angry at her. Because uh, is it Zion, Zion angry? happened I'm between the two of them. Like they talked privately in DMs. And oh boy, I wish I wish she had screenshotted that. But it was very, very long. Like I do not like accusing people of doing things that are bad or negative. I don't or like doing that because a lot of people just make mistakes. I make mistakes. A lot of people just have bad wording. But I do not do not understand why she would talk about what happened happened if they had already talked things through as if they had like it's very very hurtful and i you know where i come from that's called being messy there's a lot of messy people out here in life because one it's entertainment for them and for two maybe they just don't like you I think that being in the industry, in this space for so long, she knows the weight of her words. Not like Kotoka, where Kotoka maybe didn't know the weight of her words, how much it would affect and hurt the person afterwards. But the other one definitely did. And that is what I don't like. I think that is very ill-willed. That's some real shit to call that out. But yeah, just a short video. I just wanted to check it out. And I wanted to get a reaction to it uh, as well. Uh... I don't know how, I mean, 
like we already knew about we well now we know about like the niji sanji hierarchy right how like alira is like the the manager of ian right and then it's like there was a a tier list of who also was in control so it was like alira uh etheria because they're best friends and then below etheria like people that have power um but don't really use it it's like finana and it said finana's too dumb to wield her power correctly or something like that uh luca has power but he's childish uh blase blase like i can't honestly remember but what do you guys think about this uh shout out to rainbow retirees for for clipping this i wish you clipped uh like maybe I, uh, two minutes before this part to get at least a bit more context and maybe two minutes after you ended it so like you can get a bigger uh, a bigger perspective of her opinion uh but yeah i do appreciate it but yeah let me know what you guys think about it honestly i you know it, it hurts to hear it but at the same time it's like bro a lot of people in the industry are fake like they'll pretend to be your friend or maybe you guys are just work friends or whatever like everybody lives their own lives but uh, i feel like that you know even if you're just work friends there's no real need to be messy but that's just uh, that's just how some people are anyways i'll see you guys on the next one have a good night